You're listening to the BBC World Service and this is News Hour coming to you live from London with James Kamara Sami. As we've been reporting on this programme in recent weeks, a civil war in the northern Ethiopian region of Tigray has resumed after a five-month ceasefire which allowed some humanitarian aid to get through. Fighting between federal forces and the Tigray People's Liberation Front, the TPLF, has returned to a region that's been blighted by mass starvation since the war began in November 2020. It's a fiendishly complex conflict which has drawn in other states and ethnic groups as well as forces from Ethiopia's authoritarian neighbour Eritrea who have re-entered the conflict on the federal side. Both sides have accused the other of atrocities and independent information has been hard to come by. Journalists have been kept away from Tigray and international mediation efforts have been rather opaque. There has been some positive news for Ethiopia today. The arrival of the first shipment of wheat from Ukraine since the conflict there began. But this renewed fighting raises doubts that it will get to those who need it. I've been hearing the Ethiopian government's point of view about what's happening in the country from the Ethiopian ambassador to the UK, Teferi Melesi Desta. Well, we have been uh, building on the ceasefire. The humanitarian supplies were going well. Uh, daily air flights were uh, delivering food and non-food items, including medicines. All this leads to the peace effort, but uh, it was not reciprocated. Well, now we are back in a situation, as you said, where the fighting is taking place. The, the US envoy to the Horn of Africa, Mike Hammer, is in the country at the moment. Can you tell us anything about his visit? Well, he was there before, and the European Union and uh, the UK special envoys were in Ethiopia encouraging TPLF to come to the peace table. The Ethiopian government was very clear from the start, and uh, it has uh, put forward an unconditional negotiation any time, any place. Well, the United States has called on you to stop working with Eritrea. Eritrea, according to the White House press secretary, has re-entered the conflict and they've called for a halt to the airstrikes by your forces. What's your response to that? It is simply not true. Eritrea is a sovereign state uh, and they have their own history with TPLF and, as you know, the international border with Eritrea is controlled by TPLF forces, not the Ethiopian army. And uh, the border is porous, and uh, we are not controlling it. But are you making common cause with Eritrea, an authoritarian country, which, as you've said, has its own beef with the TPLF? President Isaias has said he wants to crush the TPLF. Well, we cannot speak on, on behalf of the Eritrean government, but as far as I understand, they are also provoked by TPLF uh, through firing of missiles and rockets into the capital Asmara. And are through... Ethiopian troops stationed inside Eritrea? No, not, uh, I don't have that information. Because there are reports that they are and have indeed been taking orders from President Isaias. I find that uh, hard to believe because our army is in Ethiopia and uh, unless we are called for... Uh, a peacekeeping force like we used to be in the sub-region, there is no reason why our troops go to Eritrea. So are there Eritrean tr troops inside Ethiopia? No. So when you were asked to lift the siege of Tigray to eject Eritrean troops from Ethiopia, your response is there are none? Well, uh, there is no blockade uh, as far as uh, we are concerned. We, we defend our international borders. The government has a responsibility in international law, but we are not responsible on what is happening on the border with Eritrea currently. What are the chances of a, a new ceasefire? Because that's absolutely key. The, the government is still on a defensive posture. Uh, we are not uh, attacking inside Tigray, so it is uh, defending and also calling on TPLF to come back to the negotiating table and we would like to encourage the international community to do so because there is no solution in war. Just to return to the visit then of the US Special Envoy, what, what message are you getting from the United States? Because as I mentioned already, 
they are certainly condemning Eritrea's re-entry into the conflict. I don't uh, think Eritrea is the problem. It is TPLF which is a problem in the region. If the U.S. is uh, clear in terms of stopping the, the, the war and the conflict, the third round conflict, it should uh, put pressure on TPLF. That was Ethiopia's ambassador to the UK, Teferi Melissa Desta. Well, uh, 